So let's face it, who doesn't love Unsplash? An extraordinary collection of professional photographers contributed for free and a tremendous resource to enrich our e-learning content, whether that be in Moodle or elsewhere. So the challenge then is how do we get that beautiful imagery into our e-learning resource? Unsplash is quite good at that. It's very generous, in fact. It provides a download button that downloads a high resolution image to our computer. And it also provides us with the proper attribution for that image. And by including attribution in our content, we can ensure that we meet copyright compliance. However, there's some extra steps for us now. That image is downloaded to our computer. Here it is. It's incredibly large. And so the first thing you may need to do is to resize it to appropriate uh, size. You'd then need to upload it into the platform, whether that's Moodle or elsewhere. You'd need to go back to Unsplash, copy the attribution, also paste that back into the editor and consider how though the text and the attribution align to each other. So it's quite a challenging piece of work. And that's where this little tool jumps in. I've created a tool called Unsplash Embedder and Attribution Maker. And the first time that you use it, you need to go through a quick setup. And the instructions for that are under this collapsing area here. Now, what you'll be end up doing is actually add a little bookmarklet to your browser that will be available then whenever you're viewing Unsplash. So to start with that, you need to ensure that your bookmark bar is visible to you. Here is mine. And following the instructions here, you simply drag this bookmarklet and place it up into your bookmarks bar. And there it is, job done. Now, whenever we're browsing Unsplash content like this image here, we can then click on that bookmarklet. And what will happen is it will load that image into the attribution maker. And it will do that with a range of different formats. So here's one where the image is floated to the right of the text, one where it's floated to the left of the text, centered, full width, etc. And with each of these examples, there's a button to copy the embed code. So that's the bit of HTML that will make that image appear with this attribution below it. And so now that code is copied to my clipboard. I can switch back over to my editor. In my case, that's Moodle. I can go to my content. Recall that what I've copied is HTML. And so what I need to do then is to quickly toggle the editor into the HTML view and decide where I want to paste it. And for me, it's simply right at the top of the page. So if I paste now the code that's been previously copied for me and then switch back to normal view, there it is. The image has been embedded. It's floating to the right because that was the code snippet that I chose. You can see the attribution is well positioned beneath the image. Happy days. Let me show you again. Return back to Unsplash. Select your image. I'm just going to choose something at random. This one will do. I get, click on my Unsplash embed bookmarklet. I decide which size I want. In this case, I'm going to choose a full width image. I'm going to copy the embed code, return to my editor, go back into the HTML, paste it where I want it. This time I want it below the text. So I'm going to paste this one down the bottom, return back into the editor view, and there it is there. You can see we've got our floated image at the top. We've got our full width image below that and the attribution has been properly applied. And so when I save those changes, they'll be immediately available to my students in the layout and design that I had set by my selections back in the Unsplash Embedder. So that's it. Uh, with this recording, I'll be sending out the URL to this. And remember the important step that the first time that you arrive here, follow the setup instructions, particularly to place this Unsplash Embedder bookmarklet up in your bookmark bar. After that, everything just takes care of itself.